Now, and I acknowledge it's a rumor, but the rumor is Apple will take the headphone jack out of the iPhone, the next what? iPhone. What? What? Leo, what? <laughs> uh, okay, this rumor's been around for a while, but as we get closer and closer, and over a car. as we get closer and closer, I think this gets more and more credible. And also, to add to the credibility, Motorola just did that with their Moto Z. There's no headphone jack. I had a bunch of HTC phones that didn't have headset jack really? for years. Really? Yeah. What? They had they had this little dongle you'd put on the bottom of the USB. I think there were Windows mobile phones, but there might have been a couple others. And you'd put this little USB dongle. It was a breakout, and it would go to uh, like a, a headphone jack and then a charger and other stuff. Neilai Patel writing in The Verge, taking the headphone jack off phones is user hostile and stupid. Have some dignity, he says. Uh, John Gruber responds at daringfireball.net saying, hey, that's what people said when Apple took the uh, floppy disk out of the iMac. This is times are changing. They well, I think the one of the things every year that takes out the headphone jack, like just for the last. So, do you think they years. won't do it? No, I, I mean, at some point they'll do it. They'll they'll do it. Uh, Apple tends to make changes when they believe that they can provide a, a better sort of a technological leap forward. So that's why they the dock port was a was a horrible port. They'd rewired it, you know, for FireWire and for video and for audio, and it it had just become unbearable. So they switched to Lightning, uh, and people complained. And now we use Lightning. I mean, the biggest problem with the switch was that Apple utterly failed to have adapters ready for weeks afterwards, which was just incredibly bad. But the the change itself ended up moving us forward. And for the last few years, they've they've been prototyping things without headphone jacks because when you remove the headphone jacks the internal volume and, and there's other things that you can do with it and one year maybe this year they'll ship it and it, whichever year they ship it we will be incredibly upset uh, and then three four five years from now we'll probably barely remember there was a headphone jack i mean does it i know we were upset with the 30 pin to to lightning but does anyone ever want to go back to the 30 pin i mean <laughs> i mean I, I look at those I, when i find them laying around my house at some point i look and i'm like oh man that was that was a un really unhappy life you know, compared to, you know, these small little connections. I think that the hard part for Apple is, is that you could theoretically try to uh, do it softly, which is that we're going to release all these great products that are now using Lightning and, and or, or Bluetooth. Uh, or and, But the problem is, is can you build up enough demand to make it worth making lots of those? Uh, you know, if you do it, do it by taking the headset away. If you do it gradually, of course, in a year, we, you know, we all know that the headset's going to go away. But are people going to get enough sales out of it? Um, so, so then the, by taking the headphone away, you kind of force everybody to go down that path. And it could, you know, it could have a negative impact on the number of people that upgrade because they just don't want to go down that path. I think that's the big. You know, people like me that have invested a lot in head in headphones, um, you know, might be a little more resistant to to upgrading on this round, which could be you know billions of dollars for Apple. Yeah, I mean, I, I've uh, I've. I did write something and then decide not to post it because I don't want to respond to so, to a rumor, uh, especially if it's something I'm gonna. If I if I feel the need to say something rather dramatic, I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't say things like that about things that may or may not actually happen. Uh, but uh, I didn't read uh, Gruber. I did not read read Gruber's piece. Um, uh, I disagree with the headline uh, because I don't think it's I don't think the two situations are in any way analogous. Um, I've uh, this rumor has been around for such a long time and it's been spiking in the past uh, two or three months. And so for the past, at least for the past month, in addition to all the other things that I sort of spy on other people for when I'm in public, I've been sort of trying to, to add to that list what kind of headphones are they using. And I rarely see people on buses, on trains, uh, in public parks. Uh, all these other regular public places using Bluetooth headphones instead of wired ones. People tend the, the world that I the world that I've been observing is one in which people tend to buy cheap ten dollar to thirty dollar wired compact headphones and use that as their daily listening uh, listening thing. So if Apple were to suddenly if if Apple were to suddenly say every single version uh, every single iOS running a 2016 model iPhone is not going to have a headphone jack. You're going to have to either buy special headphones or you're going to have to buy a, carry a dongle. I think that that would be very that would be quite premature at this point. It's not as though people are moving away from wired headphones uh, so far. Bluetooth is simply a way of connecting audio to a phone that is useful for some applications, but not at all attractive in most applications. So I, I think it's it's a, it's like a 
when they introduced the, the new iMac, it wasn't just that they deleted the flop, floppy port. Remember that they switched from USB, to, excuse me, from right. ADB to USB. That was a different sort of thing because all it required, it, everyone, was, everything was moving to USB anyway. All the future devices that anybody was going to buy for any platform, if you wanted to buy a mouse or a keyboard, it was going to be USB. That was very consumer positive. Also, you switch out. It's not as though you go through lots of keyboards and mouses. Uh, <laughs> you 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 probably use the one that comes with the device, and if you don't like it. It, you'll buy a replacement once and that's it it's not like leaving the house i don't have headphones oh th thank goodness it's a, i found a, uh, another set of uh, headphones in my glove box i'll use that, those ones instead i just think it's quite premature and if apple were to introduce uh, uh, uh headphoneless iphones uh, this fall i've kind of stuck for an answer as to how they would present this as anything for a look we can now have more volume inside the iPhone to work with. And look, we have one less component that we have to we have to pay for. No, they're so, going to no. say something. The sound is now going to be 20 times better because the, yeah, the DAC is outside of or something. I, I'm trying, the well, real again, reason trying, this is an issue. We can just, ignore I'm, it when HTC does it. You can ignore it when Moto Z right, does it because there's many, many choices. But only one company makes an iPhone. Yeah. So it changes I think, I, it for everybody. Yeah, and I don't want to say that it, people should simply, just ignore it because when you do see something in the Wall Street Journal, you should. Like, this is the best time to uh, express your concerns because if Apple, if you say wait, wait until Apple goes up on stage and makes their case, by then that iPhone is done. That's shipping. Like no matter what you say after that, that iPhone is already shipping. And well, there I, have been cases where Apple backtracked, like with the buttonless um, iPod Shuffle, and they went back to buttons. But that's you know you had a year of a buttonless. The iPod other thing that worries Apple. me is. It buys three or four more years for the lightning port. It puts off any conceivable shift to Type C connector, because if you make this change, you're not going to next year get rid of the lightning they, port. I, I believe they feel the lightning port is way ahead of the Type C connector. Still, that it's thinner, it's lighter, it does more things, and they have a better control I over it. Than I, don't, they do I wouldn't more. guess that anybody thinks that, but uh, but Apple. It's a smaller profile connector still for them. Uh, USB C is a little yeah. bit bigger, and they can't reassign it's a higher pins if they want. It's a higher profit connector for them. Well, That's true again, too, but so like you can make it like Apple could go up on stage and say, look, we've we've done this, but we've also built uh, the, like the Lightning now has these audio pins and it'll do the DAC inside. That's it'll what they'll give you say. analog out. Yeah. And there's a little adapter and they'll probably sell it for 30 bucks, but hopefully they'll put it in the box and you can go on using your headphones. We have Lightning um, ear pods for you. Uh, but the biggest concern is people who want to charge while listening. And that happens all the time. You know, uh, you were talking about kids watching Minecraft, you know, while they, they sit there. There's all sorts of people, but there are also all sorts of people who just listen without ear pods. Like, I listen to podcasts all the time. I know, and that's not going to be a good trend. I don't want to well, see more people speakers, walking down the street with their speakers open. Uh, not in public, but if they put two, like right now the iPhone is, uh, Apple, the music company has paid pr pitiful attention to speakers on iPhones over the years. They've finally gotten the iPads better with the Echo, with the big you you know, acoustic chambers. You can't put good speakers on it. No, but you could small. put two speakers, maybe even yeah. more than two speakers, and at least finally have something where if I turn it, you know, it's not coming out one side, and if I put my hand here, it's not coming out at all. Yeah. At least it's coming out of the top or maybe coming out of both sides finally. I mean, there, there yep. could be improvement there. Does it break a, a things of, like um, credit card readers and stuff that are designed for the audio Square jack? will have a hard time, Absolutely. yeah, and some scientific yeah. equipment. Yeah, there, 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 are a couple of, there are a couple of other extended, re, extended reasons, one of which is that remember that the uh, headphone jack is a way for a developer to add hardware to the, to the iPhone without having to be part of the MFI program. There's also maybe a concern that... Uh, there will be it will be possible to do some form of DRM through that connector that you can't do through a perfectly analog uh, headphone device. Uh, there's a question of will uh, developers be, will, will just makers of headphones be able to still make really cheap headphones without uh, without uh, having to pay uh, be burdened by licensing fees. Uh, there, there are a lot of questions here. I, I I really hope Apple doesn't do it. I don't think it's the right time for it. Uh, I think that it would. It would make me rethink a couple of things <laughs> about Apple if they did it. Uh, but this, unfortunately, this is the time of year. Remember that if there are, if there's going to be a case designed for the I new iPhone that does not have a headphone jack, we would have expected to have seen samples of this show up somewhere, and we're starting to see purported samples show up. So who knows? It'll be just the one with the better camera that'll have no headphone port, thereby guaranteeing Maybe. the most possible rage from the Apple <laughs> audience.